Oceans cover 71% of the globe. They impact our climate and generate oxygen. They are a primary source of protein for a billion people and are integral to economies all over the world. Today, our oceans are on the verge of irreversible collapse. 90% of the big fish, tuna, swordfish, and sharks are already gone. 29% of the world's fisheries have collapsed. And if things don't change, scientists believe all of the world's fisheries could be in danger of collapse within a few decades. And yet, enormous amounts of untargeted or unwanted fish are thrown back in the water, dead or dying. At least 16 billion pounds each year worldwide. Not only are too many fish taken out of the oceans, those that remain are being poisoned by toxins like mercury. PCBs from industrial and municipal waste accumulate in small fish and move up the food chain to larger fish and right into our seafood. The good news is that it's not too late. We can solve these problems. We can save our oceans. Founded in 2001, Oceana is the largest international ocean protection group in the world. Oceana is headquartered in Washington, D.C., with offices in New England, New York, Florida, Alaska, Oregon, California, Belize, Chile, Spain, and in Brussels, the home of the European Union. We have more than 300,000 supporters and members in over 150 countries. Oceana's campaign-based method of ocean conservation is working. Oceana's research catamaran, the Ranger, identified and documented a fleet of French fishing ships using illegal gear called drift nets in the Mediterranean. The European Union, following campaigning by Oceana, shut down the drift netters. This ruling could spare as much as 25,000 juvenile bluefin tuna, a species already on the brink of extinction, from being caught and killed every year in these four to nine mile floating walls of death. In Alaska, we developed the Oceana approach, which became the basis for federal regulations that now protect an area over three times the size of California from bottom trawling industrial fishing's version of clear cutting. In California, federal officials also adopted the Oceana approach to protect another 160 million acres of ocean habitat from destructive trawling. And in the Arctic, following years of work by Oceana and its allies, the U.S. government acted to prohibit the expansion of industrial fishing into U.S. waters north of the Bering Strait one of the largest precautionary measures in fisheries history. Combined, these closures represent the largest area of ocean ever protected, over 640 million acres. In total, an area larger than all the national parks and forests in the United States combined, an area over one-fourth the size of the entire United States. In Chile, our work led the government to commit to reducing the excessive use of antibiotics by the salmon farming industry. Chile is the second largest producer of farmed salmon in the world and uses 300 times more antibiotics than Norway, the world's largest farmed salmon producer. Oceana is beginning to turn the tide, but we need your help to win this fight and to bring our oceans back. If we fail to act now, there will not be a second chance. We can do this. We can restore the oceans. Our lives and the lives of generations to come depend on it. The Earth needs the oceans, and the oceans need Oceania.